And welcome, this is Baller Scuba with another random game. Today we're going to be playing Heaven's Hope. This is a game that was sent to me by the developers asking me if I was interested in it and maybe do some videos on it. So we're going to do at least a couple videos on this game. And if you guys do enjoy it, and if I'm enjoying it, we will continue with it. I know it is a point and click adventure game, and I know that it involves angels, and it looks like they, they got kicked out of heaven at some point outside of that i'm pretty much in the dark i did play a little bit ahead uh, so that i could familiarize myself with the controls make sure sound levels and things like that were working out well for me but nothing further than that so let's get a new game started heaven's hope back to heaven for a heretic free everyday life your inquisition that doesn't sound good and that's a very mean looking owl I hope there's some humor in this game. Pointing clicks, I feel, are much benefited by humor. Once upon a time, one fine October evening in 19th century England, there was... <laughs> Things are looking up already. You okay there, buddy? I, I do like the art style, I do have to say. What? Where? Oh no, my halo. My wings. What? What happened? Oh, we Just got a cutscene. Keep dreaming, Talarel. What's with the text? Umarel. You'll never be an aviator. I can fly, though. Where are Salome and Azel, your faithful wingmen? Good pun. Don't say they've given up already. No, but it might be better if you didn't even compete. We're going to fly your team into the ground. Sure, if the test was about how much hot air one can spout, and not how good you are in the air. But if you're so sure of yourself, then why don't you show me what you've got, instead of just blabbing on about it? Show me, hmm, the incredible wing breaker. Don't tell you'll break your wings! To? Because to do that, you'd need to get close to heaven's barrier. Oh, he's not scared, he just goes for it. And he pulled Nicarus. And I think we all know how this ends up. Talerol. Oh, I feel sick. Where are we? Well, we are in heaven. You, however, my friend, you are on Earth. What? What in heaven's name were you thinking to simply fly through the heavenly barrier without permission? That... that wasn't my fault. Something... something rammed me and forced me through it. What? Of course it wasn't. And where in heaven's name is your halo? What? Um... absolutely no idea. You already knew you your halo was gone. find it. Immediately. Before it falls into the hands of a mortal, how else are you going to get back through the heavenly barrier? Yes, and with a bit of luck, you'll make it back before Gabriel and the other archangels notice. Uh, Azael? What? Just take a look at his... back. Oh. What? Is there something behind me? You already no. noticed the wing well, thing. Not anymore. What? What do you mean? I will be able to fly again soon. Won't I? Well... Not like that, you won't. Your wings will need to grow again first. And they can only do that in heaven. What are we waiting for? I look for my halo, and you think of a way of getting me out of here. I found it. <laughs> Forget it. We shouldn't even be appearing here as visions. If we fly through the heavenly barrier as well, they might end up banishing the lot of us. And if I'm not back in time, what then? They won't let Salome and you take the angel exam without me. 
Don't worry, Talibor. We will help you as much as we can. But before we figure out how you're going to get back to heaven... With no wings. You must find that halo of yours. <sighs> what did I do to deserve this? So, a couple of things off the bat. Uh, the text has this weird thing on all of the black outlines of it that it doesn't quite fill in right. Uh, I do know uh, that when I started the game, they asked me whether I wanted this to be in German, and German was the first selection, or English. So I'm going to assume that our voice actor here, this is not his first language in, in English, because uh, he, he reads it a little strange for me. All right, so... I can move around, I can double click and actually warp there. Like I said, I've been playing around with controls a bit. Spacebar is the important thing because they actually tell you all of the things that you can actually interact with. As you can see, the only thing I can interact with right now is my halo. Oh, there's my halo. I absolutely have to get it back as quick as possible. Still just a halo. Try to grab it, that's the thing. Hey, why can't I reach that? That's weird. Wait a minute, while I transport myself into the heavenly library. Ideology, idiots... Ah, interstellar travel. You saying something hmm. about me? I've never seen this book here before. Do not panic. What a strange title. Oh, Are you sure it will help us? Yeah, kind well, of. Here is something about planets. You don't know planets? Planets? are in the material plane and use the widely recognized as outdated concept of time and space. While time is something that usually takes care of itself, space tends to create unnecessary distances. Avoid where possible. Great. And how is that supposed to help me? Oh, don't act stupider than you already are. This Space dictates that you can't reach your halo from here because it's much further away than it seems. Space, time, distances. In short, you'll have to walk back there to get to your halo. I'm supposed to walk? Through all of this dirty, dusty, hard matter? Ah, my poor feet! So, they apparently don't have any concepts of planets or the material realm. That's kind of weird for me. All right, so now we hit the space bar and you can see we have a lot more going on here. Uh, we can suddenly interact with a lot of things. I honestly don't have the slightest idea what that means. It's a top hat. Strange thing. It's a, it's a scarecrow. Granted, it's October, so it's like a jack-o'-lantern. By the way, we have a, like a jack-o'-lantern in our menu thing here. This is where our items are gonna go, but we don't have any items yet. And look at these. Hey. They're glowing. I wonder what they are. They're... they're fireflies, I believe. This strange winged creature doesn't look particularly nice. Probably not. An old rag with a strange pattern on it. A woven container with some sticky, sweet-smelling stuff in it. Oh, maybe there's honey in the picnic basket. Grab it, because I'm smarter than the average angel. Hey! The strange creature attacked me. I won't be able to get to it that easily. Never known a crow to just outright attack you like that. Especially when you're reaching for something. Maybe that's just me. Can I talk to it? Hello, winged creature. Without your halo, you can forget about talking to lower creatures for now. The hell is this? Let's do that then. Hmm. Curse at it. <laughs> oh. Aha. Outstanding performance. All right, so now I can get what's in here. <gasps> they just zoomed in here. The hell's going on? It's died. Nope. What? Phew! That was a close squeak. Well, a close squeak. We're done for. If that little furball pops its clogs because of you, then... I know. I've broken the most important of the five angel commandments here. And I'm never going to get back to heaven now. Well, it's not dead yet, is it? And the Archangel Michael will haul us over the coals because we allowed all this to happen. Talaro, it is vital that you retrieve your halo as quickly as possible. 
this instant. Right! Then I can send this little furball soul back into its body. Good idea, Salome. So we almost killed a mouse. We also picked up some bread along the way. Um, can I grab the, the firefly thing? Hmm, they're not that easy to catch. They are bugs. Hmm, I think these are insects. The book has the following to say about them. Winged also exist outside of heaven. The smaller and uglier they are, the more likely they are to be called insects. It is no coincidence that insect rhymes so well with infect. All that is usually required to protect oneself against insects is to stay away from any sources of sweet scents. Ah, uh, and how is that supposed to help me capture those things? All right, so, th yeah, the voice acting in this is kind of slow. All right, let's use the bread. There we go. Ah, Talarel said let there be light, and there was light. Now I have an original sticky thingy strange glowing critter's lamp. For some reason, when you're an angel, I don't think you're allowed, like, even more than usual to make jokes about God. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> what do you have here? Seems to be some sort of notice. It says, to preserve divine order, mm. let it be known in the name of the incarnate that the wicked shall be thrown into the Holy Inquisition cells, that they may receive their just punishment. Every mortal sin must be punished, signed Greta. Someone certainly didn't get the message. The Inquisition? It doesn't exist anymore. Especially not here. It doesn't? You don't notice anything, do you? This is England. They have a state church and a few bad-tempered officials and that's it. At least, it should be. Strange. So I'm confused. Do they pay attention to Earth or not? Because they went from I don't know what a planet is to this is England and here's the type of government that they got. Take it. Who knows when that might prove useful? And I think we have looked at everything. Oh, I can look here. I wonder if anyone lives there. There's light in the back, though. This would be the front. Whatever, let's go. And apparently, I'm just going to go around with my... With my bread thing. Oh, we got an owl. The very mean-looking owl. Another one of those flying thingies. Talk to it. I can't talk to these creatures until my halo has been recharged. Alrighty, the game's giving me stuff that I didn't know was gonna happen. After I get my halo, I have to recharge it at some point. Scare it then. <laughs> 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 Did, didn't seem to care too much. What is this? Looks like we got a pebble here. A heap of pebbles. A so heap. many possibilities. All right, let's grab one of them. A few stones. They always come in handy. Yeah, I got the stones for you. Cornfield? That wasn't a cornfield we were in. Uh, let's go in and, and ask these people nicely to let us get our no, frisbee back. I'm definitely not talking to these humans without good reason. The less these strange earth creatures see of me, the better. Very true. Kind of. We could just want, like I said, like, hey, it's close to Halloween. I have my, I had an accident with my costume and I lost my frisbee. Can I grab that back? My halo. I can't reach it from here, though. Grab it. I can't reach that from here. Three dimensionality and such. Just fly up there. Oh, sorry. Your wings are broken. How very useful, Azale. Thank you ever so much. Yes, thank you for the, the help there. Um, hit it with the pebble. Yeah. Right there. Oh, I gotta, like, hold it? Right there. Okay. Less power. Still too much power. Not enough power. <laughs> Sorry, I, I have no idea what I'm doing here. That was too much? You know, we could make this a whole lot faster, if you like. Yes, let's do that. 
Like, cause I don't know what the sweet spot is. Oh, I got the sweet spot. Oh no. Great. Yeah, real big surprise there. My old friend, St. Peter. Friend, right. The way you always bothered him in heaven. Good likeness though. Who would have thought they'd build him a statue? He is the guardian of the gates of heaven, and people are so eager to go to heaven. Makes sense, right? So yeah, once again, we're going back and forth. They really know about this place, and nah, they don't know anything. Talk to him. I'm not so sure St. Peter wants to chat with me. He's got a key, though. St. Peter's key. Uh, could be useful. Uh, oh, this is something. Completely rotten. Take it, then. The handle is completely rotten. I'll just take the head. Come on, show the humans your left hook. It's not a flaming sword, but I'm sure it'll prove useful. I have no idea. Like, they're losing me with the jokes. <laughs> they're losing me with them. That just, I'm just not following them here. Hmm, locked. All right, so then we go in here. Can I go? Okay, I can't go that way. So we'll go this way instead. Hmm. If I want my halo back, it seems I have no other choice but to go in there. But watch out. There's a reason why not all humans go to heaven. Hey, who do you think you are? Get off of my land. Huh? What a lovely welcome. Stand aside, man. The powers of heaven reign on earth. Lower your, um, lance and stand aside. A little less pomposity would have done just as well. What do you want? Are you from the Inquisition? Yes, of course I belong to the Inquisition. I assume that I'm going to have to use my pamphlet here. So we'll say yes. Yes. The Inquisition is strong in me. What? Let me in. Are you sure now? Don't let him intimidate you. Show this trigger-happy human your left hook. I don't know. That's not exactly the way I wanted to get back to heaven. Well? Come on, use the pamphlet. Like, I want, I want to use the pamphlet. They're not letting me use any of this. All right, uh, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? You know, the Inquisition. Never heard of it? Not really. Hmm. If you don't know about the Inquisition, you probably ain't a part of it. No. But maybe this is just a trick. You're gonna have to prove that I can trust you first. I guess. Let's see, um, uh, uh, how about this? Insult Greta. I mean, really insult her. Are we doing an Escape from Monkey Island reference? Well, not Escape from Monkey Island. Just a regular Monkey Island reference. Secret of Monkey Island actually was the first one. Insult sword fighting, let's do it. I don't even know Greta. Greta stinks. Greta's a witch. Something like that is beneath my dignity. Let's call her a witch. I mean, her name is Greta after all. I think I have played several games where Greta was a witch. Or stories at least. Greta's a witch. A witch. And what a witch she is too. Oh, you're right there. <laughs> and none of her folk would ever say that about her, neither. They'd all be afraid of being put on the pyre. <sighs> all right then, come on in. Hooray, I did it. And inside we go. Hey, would you look at you? Never seen nothing like it. Just who are you anyway? I'm an earthling. You know, like earthlings would say. I, um, am an earthling that walks and breathes. Yes, that's it, breathes. I'm not sure he believes you. All right, let's come clean, which apparently is better. <clears throat> Human, I am an angel of the Lord, walking on earth amongst mortals for the first time. Have no fear. I said... Have no fear. You hit your head, didn't you? What? No, I'm walking on... Sure, sure. Boy, you just can't walk around here telling people you think you're an angel. I am an angel. Why can I not proudly proclaim it to the world? 
Because the Inquisition would immediately throw you on the pyre for heresy. And me right there with you, just for talking to you. Cause she don't like me on account of me being a Yankee anyway. Yankee? Even though I'm from Tennessee. From Tennessee what now? Wait one minute. I am an angel. I may have lost my halo and must let my wings regrow, but... Oh, so now you can fly too? This is getting crazier by the minute. Listen, if God had a wanted us humans to fly, he would have given us wings. But I'm not a human. I am an angel. And I have to get back to heaven. And to do that, I have to fly. Hush your mouth. Don't be yelling like that around here. Oh, no, no, no. That can only be McCallum. Quick, you gotta hide. Where? Don't matter, don't matter. Quick, hide yourself. Open up! In the name of the Inquisition! Oh, darn, if that ain't all we need. What? Who? That's Greta's henchman, McCallum. Golly darn it all. You're gonna have to hide yourself away. Come on, boy, get a move on. Open up! I know you're in there, Bill. Now open the door. All right, now. Just give me a sec. Get yourself hid. Okay, we need to find a place to hide. Uh, I'm a let's hide go, in here. Go. Hide yourself. Go. He ain't coming in before you do. If he sees you in that getup, you'll be in for it.